Hello everyone, welcome back to InfoStreet channel. In today's video, we will walk through the process of creating and testing a basic iFlow in SAP Integration Suite. So whether you are new to SAP or looking to brush up on your skills, this tutorial will guide you through each step. So let's get started. Okay, but before we dive in, let's quickly cover what is an iFlow. So an iFlow or an integration flow is a graphical representation of the integration logic that defines how data move between different systems. It consists of series of steps that process and transforms the data as it flows from one system to another. Okay, so for this you require an SAP BTP account. If you don't have an account, you just need to sign up for a free trial account on the SAP website and once you are logged in, you need to navigate to SAP Integration Suite. Okay, now you need to click on design and then integration and APIs. Okay, here first you need to create a package. Let me just give it a name here. Let's say basic iFlow demo. Click on save. Okay, so once you have created a package, you need to navigate to artifacts where you will create an integration flow. You need to mention the name. And now you need to click on add and open in editor. Okay, so this is the default template. You need to click on edit button. Here we first need to connect the sender to the start message event and we will choose an HTTPS adapter here and now we will go to connection and here you need to create a path to which the message needs to be sent by the sender. Let me just mention a path here and everything will remain as it is. Okay, now I will be adding a content modifier. Okay, so there are two ways of adding the content modifier. The first is clicking on this button here and just selecting the content modifier. And the second way is to click here and then choose content modifier and drag down to this line. Okay. So now let me just rename it as content modifier. We will go to the message body and here we will type a string. Okay, now we will deploy our iFlow. Click on yes. Okay. Okay, now we will click on deployment status, then navigate to manage integration content. Okay, now here, let me just change the log level to trace. Okay, now again, we need to deploy this iFlow. So as you can see, we have got our endpoint here. Let me just copy it. 
and now we will navigate to the postman now let me just paste this URL here and we will click on send and there you see we have got our response that we have mentioned in the body section of the content modifier and that's it you have successfully created and tested a basic iflow in sap integration suite this is just a beginning there is so much more you can do with the integration flows to connect and automate your business process if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to the infostreet channel thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye